All right, so what I have here is I have disconnected the plug here from the back of this alternator, which is a uh, 1985 300ZX alternator, which uh, I believe is a 70 amp alternator. The uh, 280Z, I believe, is only 60 amps. So if you want to upgrade, uh, the simplest one is to get this alternator comes with the right pulley and everything so you don't have to upgrade that but what you do have to do is you have to get one of these types of plugs here okay looks like this usually has a green and a yellow wire okay and you have to solder or not solder I, what i did is uh, i use the existing connector which is kind of like a here's the old connector right here and I just plug those wires into uh, this connector here. So we're using that now. And in order to get it back on, let me see here. Okay. So anyway, like I said, there is a green and a yellow. And I uh, have to look at my uh, drawing and schematic. But uh, the green and yellow connect to, uh, not sure yet. I think uh, there's a blue wire here. Let me see where that blue wire is going to. Let's see the blue. I don't want to undo my connections here. I'll just look on the piece of paper. Okay, here are my notes on how to wire a... Connector that may look like this here on a 280Z. Um, let me see here what I wrote down. Let's see here. The white red wire is plus 12 volts, a sense wire. And uh, the blue wire is called the L. Or the field to charging light off after startup so um, here's the wiring for a 1985 300 ZX and there I have the green mission 12 and the yellow uh, the dash pilot right there so according to that the yellow appears to be going to the blue and the green which is ignition 12 volts is the white red wire so that's how you would use the newer two two pin connector I believe it's the same for the Maxima if you upgrade to that as well. But, as I said, you're going to need a new pulley. And you have to get a V pulley, not a serpentine pulley, pulley, <clears throat> pulley off of a Pathfinder. Like a 1992 or 3 model. Good luck. Junkyards uh, is a possible source, or you could go eBay and somebody's already pulled the alternator off for you, and maybe for forty dollars you can buy one that way. All right, I am finished. Anyway, that's how that goes. Uh, I'll try to give you a better view here of the back of the alternator here. All right, so let's see here. Can you see what I see? There's my alternator. Trying to get the best view. Nothing I can do about the lighting at the moment. So whatever the lighting is, that's what the lighting is. But, uh, yeah, all, the only thing you have to do is uh, put a connector on there. And uh, that's for a two-wire. Yeah newer style type of alternator you can find these connectors on ebay 
Um, I'll try to leave some kind of link or description that will make it easier to find it. Uh, and the only other item here I wanted to show you, and I'm trying to find a good angle for that now, is the, uh, the adjuster is right here for the uh, uh, it's a turnbuckle style type of uh, adjuster makes it easy to tension your belt and there is a place for that too I will try to leave a link or a description in my description and uh, I think I bought it off of eBay, but they have their own website. So that's all there is to the alternator. Uh, there is a uh, there is an alternator for a Maxima, uh, and you can actually uh, hook up a ninety amp, but you have to change out the front pulley that can be troublesome because you have to pull the pulley off of a uh, okay. 1994 Pathfinder or maybe uh, the D21 pickup truck I'll try to leave another description or link for that as well but this is how I did uh, my most simple upgrade here for my alternator. And like I said, you only have to change out this plug here. And then of course you have to install the new alternator. But yeah, that's an alternator. I'm pretty sure the year model was like a 1985 300ZX alternator 70 amp. So you get an extra 10 amps.